Welcome and congratulations on your new Timney Trigger. My name is Alex. I'm here to help guide you through the installation process of the 401 Trigger Assembly for the Winchester Model 70, as well as give you a few tech tips when needed to make the installation process seamless. Without further ado, let's get into it. For the Winchester Model 70 install, first we want to open the bolt, make sure the rifle is unloaded, no chamber and no ammunition source around. Go ahead and remove the bolt. Set that off to the side. Underneath here, you're going to have three screws on this model. They need to be removed. On in the back, middle, and front. With the screws removed for the bottom metal and trigger guard, we can easily remove the stock from the action. Here you'll have two pins, one holding the sear, one holding the bolt stop, as well as the trigger mechanism. We'll want to keep the pins as well as the spring and bolt stop for the installation of the new trigger. When you have your bolt stop, bolt stop spring, rear pin, and front pin all removed, go ahead and insert the Timney trigger. Line it with this front pin through the back side here. Should just slide right in. With your front pin in, we can go ahead and reinstall the bolt stop release and rear pin along with the spring. The spring may need to be adjusted so it has a slight bend on the shorter leg here just to clear the housing when you line those up the pin should be able to align with the hole get that started and then this back hook can be pressed in with this rear pin and bolt stop spring may require a little bit more than just pushing the housing back or pushing on it to get it to snap behind the housing. We recommend using a pair of needle nose pliers. You can pull this leg back and around. And then we can go ahead and tighten up the mounting screw, secure all the pins in place. Get that tightened down, use a quarter inch wrench. Tighten that locking screw. Now that we have the trigger installed and secured, make sure there's no movement in your pens. They're secure and the trigger moves freely. Go ahead and insert your bolt. Let's function check it. When function checking the trigger assembly, want to go ahead and open the bolt. Make sure it cocks. Move it to the middle position and see if there is any contact between the trigger and the sear. You can verify this through the little side view window in your trigger housing. If there is a little bit of play where it's catching, that's not good necessarily, and we want to fix that by removing a little bit of material from the top back edge of the sear. We'll show you how to do that. To allow extra clearance between the sear and the trigger, there's a flat spot on the back of the sear. We're going to remove about three to five thousandths using a diamond file just to allow a little bit more clearance when the safety is engaged. Now that we've removed three thousandths from this back angle of the sear, keeping that edge, we can go ahead and reinstall it and function check it again. Not all rifles will require that modification to the sear. However, now that we have this reinstalled, we can go ahead and function check it. Make sure it cocks, put it in the middle position here, and there's no more contact between the sear and the top of the trigger through that side window. Go ahead and finish it off. Make sure the third position, bolt lock, still no fire. And when you click it all the way forward, doesn't fire until you pull the trigger. 
If you have any questions or your safety doesn't work, then you can give us a call, 623-223-1111. Otherwise, let's go ahead and put this back in the stock, get it all assembled. Now that we have the trigger reinstalled in the stock, we can go ahead and function check it. Make sure middle position, when you pull the trigger, functions exactly the same as it was outside of the stock. There's no greediness and it's fully disconnected from the sear. Go ahead and move it to the third position. Check your bolt lock. When you flip it all the way forward to the fire position, doesn't fire until you pull the trigger. And that's it. I hope this has helped with the installation process of the 401 Winchester Model 70 trigger. If you have any remaining questions, our world-class customer service agents are more than happy to help. Just give us a call, 623-223-1111, or visit timneytriggers.com and click the yellow Contact Us button on the right-hand side. If not, congratulations on installing your Timney trigger. You can now go out shooting with these, knowing you've got the world's finest trigger in your hands.